Today is Friday, March 19th. It's the feast of St. Joseph. He's the patron of the Universal Church. He's the foster father and protector of Jesus. He's the husband of Mary. And although he doesn't say a word in this gospel, his strength is what kept the Holy Family safe. And his and Mary's presence made sure that Jesus was going to be the Messiah that he had to be to save the world. Today's Gospel is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Every year the parents of Jesus went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when Jesus was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming he was in the group of travelers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. Jesus said to them, Why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to him. To, uh, to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. My sisters and brothers in Christ, the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As spouse of Mary and protector of Jesus, and later in his role as patron of the church, protector of all of us in the church, Joseph stands by looking anxious as Mary speaks to Jesus in the temple. Just think, if they had given in to Jesus and let him stay there, Jesus at the age of 12 still had to grow as a human being. We're told in Philippians chapter two that he laid aside his divinity to become a human being and to uh, humble himself to be a slave, as it were, a slave of the human race who died and saved us and who even humbled himself to accept death on the cross. In this reading, Luke tells us that Jesus questions and answers among the scripture scholars and other interpreters of the law in the temple astounded them. And Jesus, daring to stay behind, also astonished his own earthly parents. And when Mary says, why have you done this to us? Jesus has no concept that they were worried about him. He thought that they should have understood that he had to stay in this, his heavenly father's house. But if he had done so, he would never have touched a leper and healed him. He would never have raised the son of the widow of Nain. It would have been too much for him to touch people whose bodies were corrupt or disease-ridden. He would have become someone in an ivory tower. He would never have died on the cross. He would never have carried out his redemptive mission. So in supporting his wife, Mary, in making Jesus come back to Nazareth, Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, is protecting our opportunity for salvation. As we pray to him during this Lenten day, let's ask the Lord to bless us, to give us strength, and to thank him always for the fact that Jesus came from a strong, coherent human family. May God bless you.